Hey, sometimes do you feel like life is out of control? Do you feel like you're running at 100 miles an hour and your schedule is so filled up that there's just not enough time to do everything that we need to do? You know, we we start to to say, well, I yeah, I can do that. I can be in that group. I can work with that ministry. I can do my job and I can have a uh, relationship with my husband or my wife. I can still be a dad or a mom or a son. I can be a part of that team and play that sport. I can be in that band. Oh, sure. I know how to play. Uh, oh, I can sing. Yeah, I can. I can be in the choir. I can be in that youth ministry. I can, uh, right? And the next thing you know, We've got, listen, there are tons of great things, ministries, committees, groups that we can be involved in, in our community or our church or our job. And then all of a sudden, we don't have time for God anymore. Yeah, but I'm involved in ministry. Yeah, but I'm involved in, are you spending time with God? Let that sink in for a minute because we get so busy doing things and being a part of things that we, we sacrifice time with God. You see, and, and that's the easiest thing to skip over, right? And it's not like we're doing it on purpose. It's not like we're trying to not spend time with God, but whew, how are you doing today? Oh, I'm busy. Whew. Yeah, that's, that's what we say, isn't it? I'm so busy, man. I've got so many things going on. I've got to run the kids. I've got to, I've got to go there. I've got to be there. And, and then all of a sudden we look back at a week and I'm like, did I spend time in prayer? Did I spend time reading scriptures? Have I read a good book by a Christian theologian who we like to read? Do I listen to Christian music? Do I, right? Am I in worship? Am I going to church on Sundays? and spend, Or am I just busy running? Am I just busy being involved? And I kind of leave God out of the picture. And you see, here's the thing. Jesus was constantly involved, wasn't he? He was traveling around with the disciples. He was moving from town to town. He was preaching and teaching. He was healing. He was uh, casting out demons. He's raising people from the dead. All kinds of things are going on. But one thing that Jesus never neglected, and that was spending time in prayer and being with God. He fed 5,000 people, and when he was done feeding the 5,000 people, he told the disciples, get in the boat and go across the lake, and I'll meet you over there. And he packed up the people and told them to go home, and then he went up on the mountain and he prayed. The night he was about to be arrested, he went up on the mountain of Gethsemane, and he got down on his knees and he prayed. Many times in Scripture it says, and Jesus went off to a lonely spot, and prayed. You see, without spending time with God, without being in communication with God, we lose our way. We lose what God has in store for us because we're so busy doing what we think we should do. As we go through these days, may we learn to spend time with God. May God continue to pour out his grace, mercy, and blessings on each and every one of us until we get to meet again. Amen? Amen.